Hello, today I'm going to show you a tutorial for how to add registration marks to a design in Cricut Design Space so that when you cut your vinyl, you can easily line up the layers of your adhesive. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to upload our image. Now, the image that I'm going to upload is this scarecrow here um, because this is the example that I showed you when I um, showed you physically how to line up the vinyl layers. So I'm going to click insert image and now it imports at a very large size. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to size and I'm just going to make it pretty small so that we can see um, what we're working with here. I might make it a little bigger than that. So I just adjusted it right here. Um, you can make sure that it's locked so that it stays proportionate whenever you adjust the sizing. Now, if you notice, it has a whole bunch of different layers on here. It has about eight or nine. So when I cut this so that I can make sure everything stays lined up, I'm gonna put a little registration mark here at the bottom, and I'm gonna show you how to make it where when you cut the design, that registration mark stays in the exact same spot for every single layer. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're you're going to want to ungroup this design okay if you notice over here then on the right each element of your design is now separated and then you're going to want to count how many different layers you are going to want to piece together so we're going to have one for the hat one for the dark blue one for the light blue one for the hair one for the background of the face one for the eyes and the mouth one for the nose one for the little eyes, and then one for the scarf and the little cheeks. So that's nine different layers. Once we know that we're gonna have nine layers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here to shapes, and you can do this with circles or rectangles. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use a rectangle um, you know, for the purpose of the video, but it doesn't matter what the shape is as long as it's something at the bottom. And I'm going to unlock the proportions here, and I'm going to change this to be just a really skinny rectangle okay I want it to be really skinny and it doesn't matter um, the width or the height it doesn't matter as long as you have something down here on the bottom now what I'm going to do is I need one of these rectangles for every single layer so right now I have one and I am just going to copy and paste that until I have nine of them so I've got two three four five six seven eight nine okay so i have nine rectangles you're gonna have as many rectangles as you have layers of your design or as many registration marks as you have different colors or layers that you're going to cut the next thing i want to do is i want to line up all of these rectangles so that they are exactly even that is one of the most crucial parts of this entire tutorial. Every single rectangle needs to be directly on top of the other one. And then I'm just going to move it here. You don't want it too close to your design, but you also don't want to waste vinyl. So we're just going to put it right here below this layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using each one of these rectangles um, to pair up with an element of my design. So what I'm going to do over on the right hand side here is I'm going to click on square. I'm just going to select one of them and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I'm going to click on the hair still holding the shift key and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say attach. Okay, so now the hair and one of my registration marks are now attached to each other. It's like a paper clip. It's holding those two together and I can just close that little group there and do the same thing with my next one. So I'm going to click on my square and then I'm going to select my scarf and I want these little cheek circles to be in that same group because I'm going to cut those all with the same color. So I'm going to hold down the shift and I'm going to select all of those and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to select attach. And then that creates my next little group here. So I can just close this little thing and I'm gonna do this with every single color that I want to be in a separate color. And I'm gonna click attach and then I can go up here and I can close this. And I just close it because it helps me to organize things a little bit better. You don't have to close it, you can keep them all open. But I'm clicking attach and I'm just kind of, this is a way that I can kind of 
group them almost, but not really grouping. I'm just using a little paper clip to clip them all together. And I'm going to do that with every single layer that I want a different color. So like this one, I want the little outlines of the eyes and I want this mouth. I want those to be the same color. So I'm going to attach those together with one of the rectangles. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to go to square and my nose. I'm going to attach. And I'm just going to close that one up. And then I'm going to go to another rectangle and in the background. I'm going to attach those and then I have my last one like see this is why you have to have the same number of rectangles as the number of layers that you want and then I'm going to attach these and so now I have every single element of my design is grouped together with its matching registration mark and they're all in the exact same spot and then what I can do is I can when I click on make it now it will sort out each one of these elements and see they won't move they'll be in the correct distance so that I can line up every single one of these bars and um, have it all line up together very nice and neatly with my adhesive using that technique I just use that layer and then at the very end once everything's lined off I just snip that little registration mark off okay and then if you want these all on the same color you can go in here and you can you know adjust the colors like if I want this and um, I want this whole area to be a different color like let's just say I want it to be you know I want this to be this color also well that's another color on my board so if I go to that color notice now I have the hat on here and I have the little cheeks and the scarf and I can move this around if I want to you know if I want to make them all the same color and then um, save space on my mat and put one color vinyl here and one color vinyl here I can do that as well I just kind of um, make these the same color here but then place them on my mat wherever I want okay so I hope that that helps with how to add registration marks to your design um, if you're going to be using adhesive vinyl to help you get a really accurate layering and feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.